Hey everybody, let me show you a little trick here. If you're using uh, Ubuntu with a dual boot, what you're gonna notice is that your Windows time always is off by four or five hours. So I'm gonna show you one way to fix that. There's probably a couple different ways to fix it. So uh, boot up to your Ubuntu, make sure your Ubuntu's on time you know time is uh, set up correctly and then boot up into windows and we're gonna go into the registry I'm already in it um, and if you're watching this video and you have Ubuntu you probably know how to get into your registry but basically you would type reg edit actually let me just do the whole thing yeah so I mean I have it there but I'm gonna close it up so you would type at your command line reg reg edit and then you're gonna have that registry editor up there so click on that registry editor yeah let me back up now when this opens uh, let me show you how this is gonna open up because I already opened it up you're gonna have to write this down or maybe I'll put this in the description you're gonna go to local machine and you're gonna go to uh, system then you're gonna go to which is already open current control set right that one would have been closed right you would have gone there current control set oops current control set uh, is the current control set or one? Yeah. Current control set. Did we open that up? Let me turn this off. Yeah, that's better. Where am I at? Uh, current control set. Then we're going to control. Right, which is already open. The Right, so you would have opened that up. Then you would open up current con uh, current control set. Sorry. And then control, because mine were already open because I had already done that. And then here you're gonna go to time. Uh, time zone information. No, I can't record and look and find my mouse. Time zone information. And over here on the right, I already did it, but basically you're gonna add this here. Time zone is universal. That is was not there. Basically you would right click, new, and you would go D word 32 bit value. You would open it up and then right there you would write real time is universal just like you see up there I'm not gonna write it because I already did it when you enter that then you have to double click on real time is universal to open it up you have to give it a value of one when you create it it's gonna give it a, a value of zero so I mean I already did mine so it was a zero then you make it a one so basically that's all you're doing Real time is universal, D word, and it's a one. And I mean, my time is still off, but if I restart it, it should, you know, give me my time back. If you want to know why and how that works, uh, Google it, because I don't know, it kind of threw me off the first time I saw that happen because you would say you know what does one operating system have to do uh with the other but it's something related to uh it's, it's in the bios so i guess the bios whether it be the grub uh bootloader or something like that that basically one of them uses uh one type of clock the other one uses another one and basically this is one way to fix it there's another way to fix it which is actually you know putting commands in in Linux for it 
which I have it there. I haven't tried it. I looked that up one time. I've always done it, just changing it on Windows. So I thought I'd share that with you. Let's see if you wait a couple minutes. Let's see if it fixed it. Going back into Windows. Now, I didn't change anything out. The, the you know, time settings were already correct. The time zone was correct, and synchronized time zone was already correct. So it's not like you look at that, and then you you know you don't go to your time clock and change it. It's gonna go off, you know, again because it's pulling whatever central or uh, standard median time zone, whatever it is. And that's why it goes off four or five hours. So let's see. Let's go back. This is the Acer with the dual boot again that I did a little video earlier today. And the the Windows is running on a regular hard drive and the the Linux is running on an M2 solid state, but the Windows is just like really draggy. Uh more more than it should for a you know, regular hard drive shouldn't be that bad. This is a nice little computer, little i7, 7th gen. It's got some dedicated graphics. And let's see what we got. See, that's like way slow for even for a regular hard drive you know and I tested the drive it shows up at 100% but more and more I've been finding drives that report back you know 100% past test but they're just they're just slow like this one sheesh all right, you're going to remind me. No, I don't. If you got a computer with a regular hard drive, upgrade it. Got to put a solid state on there. The solid states are running about the same price as a regular drive almost. It's really, really crazy. Even the 500 uh, gig drives, uh, remind me, and there you go, that's the correct time now. So now our Windows and our Ubuntu will both stay on time, that's your tip for today. That's what's going on right here, right now at PC911.